Obviously, you couldn't play in the tournament last season for a minor thing you had zero to do with. Seeing the penalties that have come out for much more egregious violations, has that been really tough for you, knowing what you all went through? You know, I, I'll say this. I, I, I hope that it's a sign that we're kind of getting away from the old um, kind of outdated thought process of just pick on whoever you can at the moment, right? Um, it was a really, really difficult season for our team to go through last year with that already on the forefront before we ever played the game, no question about it. Um, I don't want to see a bunch of other kids have to go through that either. Uh, and so while I'm disappointed that what it looks like, our program will be the last one <laughs> to have to do that, I'm also, um, I guess I'm happy for the future kids that, that won't have to suffer that same fate uh, because of things they really had nothing to do with. So, it, it, you know, it sucks to kind of now be a footnote in history. Um, will be a, probably a trivia question. Who's the last team to suffer a postseason ban over a, <laughs> a recruiting violation? It'll probably be the 2021-22 Oklahoma State men's basketball team. Uh, but at the same time, maybe our case made some people kind of step back and think, you know, this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, this is a little egregious. And it's really wholly unfair to the kids who – uh, are now in the program. So, you know, in, in some of the cases that have gone forward now that haven't had a penalty, I don't necessarily want to see them punished. Uh, I'm just disappointed that we, unfortunately, will probably have been the last one to have that happen to. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.